Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography. I'm Mark Wallace. Today, we are gonna look at how we can integrate Lightroom Classic with the Voto and do automatic round trips in the same way that we've always done with Photoshop and other applications like the Exo Photo Lab or Film Pack or the Nick Collection, things like that. And so this is a new feature of Evoto that came out in the uh, update, the 3.8 update. I recently made a video about all of those updates and the new features. And so if you wanna know more about that, I've put a link to, in the description of this video. And when I made that video, many people said, hey, how does this round trip work, this new feature? So one of the new features of Evoto at 3.8 is the ability to right click from your Finder or Windows Explorer or from Lightroom Classic for, for, or from different photo editors and you can say edit in Evoto. So you can send images from other applications into Evoto. The question was, well, how do you get it back? Specifically, how do you get it back into your Lightroom catalog? Is there an easy way to do this? Can we do this automatically? The answer is absolutely. It's really simple. It's all automated. You just have to know about one little checkbox to make sure everything works okay. Now, if you don't know about all of these different Lightroom integrations and what that means, I suggest you take a look at my Lightroom Classic Essential Training class here on the YouTube channel. There is one session, session 23, that's all about integrating with Photoshop and Lightroom and other external applications. And so that class is available to all channel members that are SNAP Family students and higher. So it's an 11 hour class in addition, there's studio lighting classes and a bunch of other things available to you and new stuff coming. So just a little plug for that class. If you're new to Lightroom Classic, 11 hours of training uh, for our members. Okay, enough about that. Let me show you what I've done in Lightroom Classic to make this incredibly easy to understand. In Lightroom Classic, I have one image. So just one image. I wanna be able to make sure that you can see what's happening on the hard drive as we make this round trip between Evoto and Lightroom Classic. In fact, if I right click on this and say show in Finder, it'll open my folder on my hard drive and you can see that there's nothing there except this one raw file. So I have one raw file on this folder. It is in my Lightroom catalog. And so that way we can see what's happening between Evoto and Lightroom Classic and all that stuff. So one of the other things that's important is that in Evoto, make sure that you go up to your Evoto menu and you checked to see if there's an update. So make sure you click that and mine's up to date, but you need to make sure that you're in version 3.8 or later. And so when you install that update, it's gonna install that right click edit in feature that we're going to be using. Make sure you're updated. In Evoto, there are some options. And uh, you see that I have all of these different projects here or we can create a new project. So by default, when we do this round trip, if there's no project open, when we send from Lightroom Classic into Evoto, it will create a new project with that one photo. If you don't want that to happen, perhaps you want it to open in, so here's Sarah, I've already got some images here of Sarah. If I want my image to open in this project, I just need to open that project in Evoto before I send my image from Lightroom Classic over into Evoto. The choice is yours, so uh, I just want you to be aware of that. What I'm gonna do to keep it simple is I'm just gonna keep Evoto open with no project open. So it's just this way, and then in Lightroom Classic, I just have one image. Let's start with this round trip, now that we sort of know what's going on behind the scenes a little bit. So we can now right click in the library module and then we can go to edit in, edit in Evoto. So you can see there, if we edit in, edit in Evoto. That is gonna show up if you have uh, the new update, 3.8. If you've updated that in Evoto, that should show up. And you can do that either from the library module or from the develop module. You can right click, say edit in, and then choose edit in Evoto. And that's how the round trip starts. Before I do the round trip, let me just show you though, in the develop module, I have changed white balance. I've changed some uh, exposure settings here, highlights, blacks, midtones, etc. I've cropped this image. And so when I go from Lightroom Classic over into Evoto, those changes that I've made in Lightroom Classic are going to be in the photo that shows up in Evoto. 
So when we go back over here into uh, Lightroom Classic, I'm going to go into the library to keep this simple. I am going to make this a larger thumbnail just to make it really big here. Right click, edit in Evoto. Now what will happen here is as soon as I say edit in Evoto or Photoshop or any other application for that matter, Lightroom Classic is first going to take all the settings from that raw file and it's going to export a new file. It's either going to be a TIFF file, Photoshop file, or JPEG file, depending on what you have chosen. And then that file is what's going to be opened in Evoto. So the raw file, all the changes that I've made in Lightroom Classic, it's going to create a new file on the hard drive, and then that file is going to open in Evoto. Let's watch that in action. So edit in, edit in Evoto. I'm going to click on that. It's going to ask me what I want to do here. And so the only option we have when we start here is to edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. And then what I will do is I'm going to choose TIFF because I think that's the best file for doing this kind of stuff. Profoto RGB, 16-bit, these are my options. You can choose whatever you want, but that's what I'm going to be using. Then I will click edit. As soon as I do that, you can see that this is preparing the file for editing. In other words, it's exporting the file. It exports that TIFF file, boom, goes over to Evoto, and boom, it's in Evoto. So now we have this uh, file in Evoto, and we can do some edits. So what I will do here is we can see that she's got some uh, red eye issues. We've got some skin that needs to be evened out. Uh, if we even look down here on her hand, we can see that there's this little vein. We've got this little bump on her arm. We've got these little things that we need to smooth out, this little mosquito bite etc. So I've already created a preset to do this. So I'm going to go down here and click on my Sarah in the bushes preset. Boom. And so that's done. So if I go in and look at the before and after, you can see that her eyes have changed. And if I go out here to her hand, we can see that the little vein has changed. That mosquito bite is gone, etc. I've done some skin toning. All that's done. So now what I want to do is I want to take this image and get it back into Lightroom Classic. Now before I do this, I want to show you what's happening behind the scenes. Remember, Lightroom Classic took that raw file, it exported it, stuck it on the hard drive as a new TIFF file. That TIFF file is what's in Evoto right now. Okay, so if we go back into our Evoto, I'm going to go over here to my folder on my hard drive. So I'll right click and I'm going to say show this in my finder. Now we have two files, the original raw file and that file that Lightroom Classic exported. And this is this, the file, this edit right here. That's what's in Evoto right now. And if we look in uh, Lightroom Classic, you can see we have our raw file and we have the TIFF file, that TIFF file that was exported and then opened in Evoto. So what we need to do is we need to save that TIFF file. Normally, you would export a new file. So normally you would, in Evoto, you'd say export and uh, Evoto is going to create yet another file. But we don't want that. We want to save the file that we're working on right now. So that automatically updates Lightroom Classic. We can do that with the special check mark in Evoto. So over here on our export, right there. If we click on that, you can see that we have a choice of where we want to put this. It's very important that we choose the original uh, folder, folder of original photo. That is key. Make sure you choose that. And this is that magic checkbox. Click on this. A non-raw image will replace the existing file. So by clicking on that, you're just saving the TIFF file that we're working on right now. That's going to automatically update Lightroom Classic and keep everything in sync. Make sure that you've checked that box. Once you do that, you can't change the file name because it's, it's basically saving the TIFF file that we're working on. The image format, format can't be changed because, again, you're saving that TIFF file that we're already working on. And the color space is going to be the color space that you've set up in your settings. So I always make sure to keep my color space in Evoto the same as the color space in Lightroom Classic. Once all that's done, all we have to do is click on Export. When I click on Export, I get this dialog box. 
it is going to tell me, hey, this exported image is going to replace the current file. So the TIFF file that we're currently working on is just going to be overwritten. So you can't undo that. And an automatic backup file is also going to be, cre be created, which is sort of cool. I'll show you how that works. So I'm going to say replace. I'm going to click on replace there. Click. And this is going to prepare the export. If I go over here to my export, you can see that this is doing all of its thing. It's applying all of those, uh, the preset, everything that I applied to this file. So it takes a couple seconds, but this, okay, it's done. So now what we can do is we can go over into Lightroom Classic and notice that this file, if I double click on it, it's the file that we just updated in Evoto. Her eyes are fixed. We can look down here. That stuff that we did on her arm is done. That little mosquito bite over there is fixed. So it is the file that just came out of Evoto. You will see that we get a little warning here. This little warning here is telling us that the metadata has been changed. So the metadata was changed with Evoto when it saved that image. And so if we click on that, we can, uh, we have a choice here. What we want to do is we want to overwrite the settings. So we want to take the metadata from Lightroom, overwrite the metadata that Evoto put on this file. I'll click that and we're done. The round trip is finished. If I right click and I say show in Finder, now we have three files. The original file, the one that we exported and edited in Evoto, and then the automatic backup of that TIFF file that Evoto created. That automatic backup is really, really nice because with that, we have a non-destructive edit. So if you uh, accidentally did something and you want to go back, you can open that backup file and edit that and then export and overwrite. So it's just a nice little uh, extra thing there. So let's do that exact same round trip, but in real time, much, much faster instead of explaining every single little step along the way. Let me show you how fast and easy this is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a virtual copy of the same image. And then what I will do is go to the develop module. I'm going to crop this just so we have a totally different file. So that's done. And then let's do uh, a nice vignette. So we have something that's different, okay? A different image. And then I will right click, edit in Evoto. It's gonna ask me what I wanna do. Click edit. It's going to prepare this for editing. In other words, it's going to export that uh, TIFF file. We can see that this is now opened in Evoto, I can go in and I can do my little preset here, Sarah Bush's click. It does all the wiki wacky stuff. You can see that we have the vignette, we've got the crop, all the stuff that we did in Lightroom Classic. Um, that's fantastic. I will now click on export. Make sure I click this little image thing here. Export, yes, replace, zippity zap. It's gonna go over here. We can click on this to see the progress. That takes a couple of seconds. And uh, we will see that this shows up in Lightroom Classic just like it did before. So there it goes. I'll go back over here to Lightroom Classic. And there's that image. Notice all the changes have been made and it looks exactly like we want. So I can go back to the grid module and you can see that we have a, just a really, really fast round trip uh, feature between Lightroom Classic and Evoto and it comes back. Just got to make sure you click that one thing. Now, there are probably other ways to do this, but in my experience, this is the absolute fastest way to get stuff from Lightroom Classic over into Evoto and then back. Okay, thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Exploring Photography. I hope that this helps those of you who are using Evoto and Lightroom Classic figure out this new integration and how to do all the round trips and how everything works. I absolutely love this stuff. Evoto is updating stuff all the time. I put a link to Evoto if you're interested in that. If you're new to Evoto, you want to download that, you get 30 free credits. So uh, they're not paying me. This is not sponsored, but uh, it's, a, it's a new offer to anybody. So I'll just put that in there to make that uh, beneficial to you. Again, if you want to know more about Lightroom Classic, become a channel member and you have access to that class. It's 11 hours of awesome stuff and then there's new stuff coming out all the time. Don't forget to click subscribe, click like, all of that kind of stuff. 
Thank you so much to the channel members that make these videos possible. Without it, I couldn't do this kind of stuff for you. Thank you so much, and I will see you again in the next video.